I started off with a BSc in Biomedical Science in the University of Ulster. And during my placement year, I traveled to the United States to the University of Nevada. And I carried out um, a research placement in that um, university. And it was there that my interest in physiology began. Um, I came back to Ireland after that and finished my degree. And then I decided to take a PhD position in UCD, University College Dublin. And after completing that then, I um, worked as a research scientist in UCD for five years as a postdoctoral researcher. And then I took up my position in TU Dublin in 2005. <music> Well, I was very much inspired by the research teams that I worked with in um, the US and also in UCD, especially my PhD supervisor, Professor Paul McLaughlin. Um, I saw during my time with him his passion for research and education, and um, that uh, really stimulated me to pursue a career in the STEM area. <music> full-time lecturer but I carry out some research into um, the learning experience and the student experience in TU Dublin and I'm also still involved in carrying out research in the area of lung disease which is what I started uh, during my PhD and this is obviously very topical now at the moment because of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic and the area that I focused on um, and still focus on is very relevant there because it looks at the injury that can happen um, to the lung if patients are put on ventilators. So they're the two main areas that I'm working on along with my, my teaching at the moment. Well, part of my job as a lecturer is to keep up to date with the area that I'm teaching. So that would be physiology and pathophysiology, specifically research into the lung. So that's very challenging and stimulating. Um, I also get to meet a lot of new people every year, um, all the students that are coming in and then other academics. And I also teach on multiple programmes within TU Dublin, which is, is very rewarding because I get to meet lots of different programme teams and different groups of people within the college. Well, I hope through all the students that I meet that I will inspire future students to take up um, a career um, and study in the STEM area. As I said earlier, I'm involved in doing some research into learning and teaching and the student experience. So I hope that I can enhance that for the students in TU Dublin. Um, I also um, I'm still involved in research into lung disease and that will always be relevant. So I hope to continue with that and make a difference there. <music> Well, I hope that I will have progressed from lecturer to senior lecturer. Um, I hope to continue to develop my research. I'd also like to develop um, a um, degree course in physiology, which we don't have currently in TU Dublin. And I think there will be a demand for that and a huge interest for that. And um, we're also very shortly moving to our new campus in Grange Gorman. So um, I'm very excited for the possibilities that that will bring as well. <music> Well, we need more women in STEM in the STEM area because we are underrepresented um, and if we're not present, we can't get fair representation. Um, we, it, it would also be important to have women coming into the area to be future role models for students, um, to provide the inspiration to students as they come into the, come into the STEM field. <music> Something very simple that I would do um, when I was at school, I studied biology and chemistry. I think it would have been better for me to have studied biology and physics. So that would be one very simple thing that I would do right back um, um, in secondary school. I would have taken um, a different subject. It would have helped me um, more, I think. Um, I also, after finishing my PhD, I think I would have worked um, in research for a little bit longer. I worked in research for five years, but I think a few more years would have been more beneficial to me in terms of getting research publications and helping me to continue with my research. So they're the two things that I would, would, would change. If you're interested in exploring and asking questions, then you should consider STEM. Um, you will become a lifelong learner in an area that's always challenging and forever changing. So it's a very stimulating area to be involved in. And you can also provide the future inspiration um, for students coming into the area, become the role model that, that we very, um, very much need.